Hi, this is Shadi. Kosen Judo, Judo, BJJ, Noki Jiu Jitsu, they're all different expressions of the same art. Today we're going to be looking at two men from two different generations with different approach to Jiu Jitsu. You have Elio Gracie's defensive and full of endurance style of Jiu Jitsu and we're going to see Gordon Ryan's demolishing offensive Jiu Jitsu. But first, before you do that, please feel free to check out the link in the description below for my recently published novel with Pantheon Editions. The link will be in the description, so feel free to take a copy and your support would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now, first, let's start with Elio Gracie. Elio's grandchildren often talk about survival and enduring and going home safe because this is the ultimate victory is going home safe and unharmed so Elio Gracie's jiu-jitsu is a lot about endurance and also passive offense meaning to wait and exploit the holes and the flaws of someone's offense and it might look passive and patient but he is still going for the win now when it comes to his takedown it is very much judo oriented you can see him here trying to go for foot sweeps now regarding the passive offense the fight against Kato was a great example of that Kato was very dominant in the stand-up and the takedowns but when the position was compromised Elio took advantage of that taking advantage of his very good guard and eventually strangling Kato and getting the win great example of passive offense uh, of also surviving is a great way of demonstrating this philosophy while Gordon Ryan on the other hand is highly offensive dismantling everyone in his way mentally physically stripping them off of their options their cardio and their mental strength and finally getting the tap either by leg lock taking the back strangles and arm locks he is a complete submission fighter when it comes to the ground uh, now when it comes to takedown he has a more of a wrestling approach meaning going for the legs single leg takedown and double leg takedown this fight against cornelius is a great example uh, and also notice how he is more about passing guard and really suffocating them sure he has a good guard as well but it's more of a top game and really suffocating them while Elio waited in the guard patiently and got the tap at the same time different approach to uh, takedown another thing is here you see the body locks not just the leg grabs but also the foot sweeps that he does from the back you can say that his takedown approach is very reflective of today's jiu-jitsu the no-gi game obviously he's not gonna be concerned with grip fighting and the gi since this is his world again different expressions of the same art it's very apparent when you compare the two now when it comes to physical fitness and approaching a healthy body a body that can withstand the fights elio gracie was reliant again on endurance and he was a great skilled swimmer um, which again it will develop your endurance and also developing his technique on the mats so cardio and a lot of patience and the muscular development will develop through these uh, disciplines so the swimming you see their backs you see their shoulders and also here you can see his brother carlos gracie not a very big man very little muscle mass on his frame yet he was more concerned with the longevity of his body through this flexibility and the mobile joints and the mobility in general and of course relying a lot more on technique so you can see different physiques different style of takedowns different style of submissions so on and so forth when you compare the old generation or the first with today's jiu-jitsu now when it comes to gordon ryan it is no secret that he is constantly getting bigger and stronger the topic of peds is always on the table and often criticized for it people would say that you know if he is constantly relying on techniques then why is he constantly getting stronger or where would he be if he hadn't put on that much size 
uh, would you have the same record so a lot of these questions are always there now Ario Gracie lived a very long life his priority was again self-preservation longevity mobility and making sure you go home at the end of the day safe his priority was more of self-defense his generation a lot of them were about self-defense the Japanese teachers and the first people in Brazil to practice judo and jiu-jitsu so the fact that he adopted a diet that would promote longevity the Gracie diet and also training jiu-jitsu in a very sensible way relying mostly on self-defense and not so much on the competitive aspect although he did compete having one of the greatest fights like three and a half hour long fight against Valdemar Santana while Gordon Ryan is focusing solely on you know competitive greatness and just bulldozing everyone in his way when it comes to longevity I don't think that's one of his priorities since he's still very young but Alio Gracie as Pedro Valente said he was going to the beach in his 90s and training jiu-jitsu in his 90s till the very last day of his life and I would say his approach and philosophy to jiu-jitsu helped a lot uh, accomplishing this because not only the diet is also a part of self-defense because you're making sure you always find you're putting the best things in your body to help you live longer basically and prevent diseases but also the jiu-jitsu side is mostly about keeping a healthy body endurance and not so much taking performance enhancing drugs or anything that can actually shorten your life being heavy and muscular does not equate to health we've seen the recent bodybuilders and their demise so to speak a lot of bodybuilders have passed away in the last two years although they are very big they train they eat reasonably healthy diets but nonetheless they have perished in their 40s and even 30s so this idea or this presentation is a very important to me because again it shows the different approaches to the same art you have the gi you have the no gi you have different approaches to physical fitness that can reflect differently on the mats you have different philosophies from defensive and offensive and a lot more so um, if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content only i post there once a week and please do not forget to check out my novel also in the description below this was shady and as always thank you for listening